lounge and sun. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan. And I'm Manny. And today we're finally talking about Witchman by Tom Scioli. Before we get into it, though, I just want to remind everybody, if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of the awesome content on the channel, including a uh, couple interviews with Tom Scioli. One where he does mention this book, but also like, you know, the author of uh, the Jack Kirby book. He did the I Am Stan book uh, and Transformers G.I. Joe, Godland, the list goes on. He's done so many great comic books, and this is just the latest uh, in, in his work. And I'm super stoked to finally be talking about this. We've been we've been talking about it, you know, behind the scenes, like when this comes out, when this comes out, we're going to, you know, finally yeah. talk about it. And it didn't disappoint at all from no, the, man. the production value, the, the I mean... You can hear it. The cardstock cover, the great paper that it was printed on, the coloring. Um, I just love this book so much. Then all these characters he's created, too. I know, dude. It's amazing. I love the names, too, like like Big Boss, you know, Santique La Rose, V, Frank, Gilly, Dusty. I love, I love all the Joes. Sailor Joe, Nurse Joe. Yeah, Baker, Baker Joe. Joe. Yeah, yeah. Painter Joe. <laughs> like Everybody's a Joe, which I think is Deputy hilarious. Deputy Demon is a great name. Great names, man. Like, yeah. Uh, one thing I love about Tom is that he is like a wellspring of creativity. Like he can come, he just oozes ideas and concepts and names and characters. Like if you follow, follow his, uh, his YouTube channel, total recall, like, and, uh, his you Patreon, follow him on too. Patreon, he's like always creating stuff. Always. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, it's crazy. Like, and it's funny that he is that way because I think probably his biggest influence is to him comic book wise is Jack Kirby. And he yeah. too was like a wealth of ideas. Yeah. Right. And I love this, dude. It has such like an old school vibe to it. The true story of the creepiest super character of the decade. Night falls on the bustling city of New Salem. I love this, dude. It's such a great concept and like so well thought out and like, yeah. you know, playing with the, with the genre and playing with like the, it's basically like his take on like a golden age character. You know, this is like, you know, like detective number 27 or action comics number one, you know, where you're setting up like, Oh yeah, character. dude. It's it, the coloring on it too is awesome. I just love the way he lays the panels out. You know, like you don't ever really see him full on with his face yet. Except, I mean, no. even there, it's with the sh in shadow. You know, and I dig that. And the purples that he uses, I love purple, dude. I've I've, I've said that a lot. Yeah, it's one I of just, my favorite colors in comics. I just did, I dig this idea of it. Then you then look at the bright color after a lot of stuff was muted, and you get hit with this bright red hair bright blue dress the bright yellow run sparky run i mean it's just hilarious in this this uh this car that he designed oh uh, yeah he's a big fan of drawing like like cars and i mean obviously he did like that GoBots transformers for gi mm -hmm. joe so oh yeah dude and it's funny to like they're all basically like universal monsters yeah got these uh these goons these bandits these villains whatever you want to call them i just love that he's just on a broom and he fucking waves his wand from behind and lifts lifts them up into the air. Then I, I love this. How about that? That little spin motion to signify he's going to turn the car over. Yeah, no, it's it's clever. And like the origin scene that's coming up is really cool. Dude, I love this. The bridge scene with them falling into the water. Uh, and I love that like the, the city is like new, uh, new as a new Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. like basically like you Salem, you know like again he's just playing with like like all the all the concepts that like a witch has what a the design of the character is great too with that rictus grin that permanent like like yeah. grin on his face and the mask i love that they're called the chiller gang i think that's yes. another great name uh but yeah his origin it was a dark and stormy night i took shelter in an old house i was in over my head yeah. i love and then he woke up <laughs> he woke up outside the house i was clutching a book and he kept it hidden, but and then his dad dies. Something about his death didn't add up, and that's where he, he does this like seance. Awesome, dude. and it's like very pure comic book storytelling. Like you could tell that, like you know, again going with that golden age vibe where it was like like simple enough that like a child would be able to read this and enjoy it. And, and I'm not making that as a dick because like this is a kind of an all ages book in like the the purest definition of the word. And it's funny that, you know, it ends up being a crooked sheriff and he, you know, he got the justice for his dad 
And now he yeah. uses these unholy powers from hell to do good here on earth. And this just like that's a Batman pose. That's a Batman image for sure. I don't know. If I think that that, that is that is a swipe, like a, yeah. a, a conscious swipe from something from Detective Twenty Seven or maybe Batman Number One. Yeah, dude, and it's just I love like the, I think the whole page is maybe probably yeah. I like the limited color palette too, and this just yes. very like flat use of colors. Um, it's just I don't know. It makes them pop out so much to me, and the the way he did this building imploding, like it's so cartoony. It is the cartooning in this is great, man, and this is like like some of the he's able to i mean shioli is like you can always tell when it's a tom shioli book because he has a very distinct way of drawing but mm -hmm. at the same time he's also able to change his style from project to project to sort of make the style uh thematically like better for whatever he's creating at the time i don't know if that makes sense because like if you look at the jack kirby book and the stan lee book and this book they all have slightly different styles but they're all like like you cannot like go wrong you, you will not be able to tell that you can tell that it's a shioli book through and through all three of them yes. but they all do look a little different yeah they do he ha does have his flourishes that he uses that like make it shioli and then there's stuff that is very different like yeah especially like the kirby book to the stand book those both yeah. look different but you know they're shioli like you said i love this big boss guy dude he reminds yes. me of like somebody from like a like a voodoo witch doctor but also yes. kind of looked like rob zombie to me I was totally going to say, yeah, Rob Zombie, for sure. I also think Chioli has, like, one distinct thing he, he does is the way he does his word balloons. Yes, yes. And his lettering. Yeah, it's amazing. I love that he's, like, he's got this lawyer on deck, so he sends him, and he's like, my client's boys are being <laughs> unfairly imprisoned. Now, acts of God are befalling the city. So he's, like, saying... Like, they're not really criminals. They were wrongly accused. And these so-called buildings exploding and these other things happening, like, those are acts of God. I, just, I thought it was so funny. It made me laugh, dude. I, I also love that the lawyer has no color to him. It's just black and white. Yeah. Line art. That's a good call, too. I love this, how the, the smoke, and then it almost looks like a liquid type, like, coming yes. out here, like, a, like a, a splurge or something like that. I really, again, I really love this stuff. And then... This line, I'm only smiling on the outside. It's my fault. I'm going to have to end this. And the cop, I can't believe we're letting these minions back on the streets. And then which man? He's creating it. like a, a a cool little world in like just like one issue. Like, you know, it seems like th this this city and these characters all already have a history together and a mythology, and like you know, you can tell what kind of characters they are. And it's great, man. Yeah, I love the big boss's hideout too, dude. It's fucking sick. It had. It's like it, it's almost like the vibe of like like the Batman the animated series where it's like it, it combines like future tech but like also film more and like it's like a hodgepodge of all these other genres. Yeah, this panel in particular stood out to me where Big Boss is looking through the blinds and pulling it down, and that is the panel. Like the edge of the panel is the blinds. Top. Of oh bottom. yeah, good call. Yeah, and like he's like you brought them right to me. Now go fix this problem you made. And Witch Man, dude, coming in stealth mode but look at that i love how he out of the corner of his eye he could sense the knife coming at and just like with his wand like deflects it yeah the coloring is so good in this oh yeah dude i like the looseness that he uses to draw witch man too like the cloak and the shadows mm -hmm. it gives everything like a very like a lot of fluidity i, I love, love this. that green panel oh yeah dude where he's yep. coming which man's coming down yeah that's dope i love this the wave of the want and just like the spider web on them. It's just, it's so cool yeah. to like, see like the way his powers are used. It's not like anything crazy magic wise. Like it's not just a blast. Like he's actually doing like some sort of a trick or something, you know, like yeah. where he turns the bullets, like, like they come out and they just turn into like little puffs of smoke. And then this, where he bends the chair back and a secret compartment opens. Very, very like like 1966 Batman, you know, or or like old school Golden Age Batman, you know, like yeah, dude, pulling a book on a bookcase to reveal a secret hideout and all that stuff. And here we finally meet Santique La Rose, dude. Yeah, I love her color scheme too, like the blue hair and like the purple outfit. Yeah. I love this right here. This is an awesome panel, dude, right here on the top. Every every the plane's going down. Everybody's jumped out, but he goes straight after Santique because her parachute gets destroyed and you get the first meeting between the two of them which kind of reminds me of and i'm pretty sure i'm correct in this because i'm gonna call this out superman the christopher reeves movie 
like where he yeah, saves Lois when he the saves... plane. And then uh, not only that, but that meeting that he has when he goes to her apartment that night and they do their first interview. Yeah, very much so. And that's like that's like your classic comic book, like superhero meets a reporter, you know? Like, I, I feel the, like the, the questions the... are almost the same. Why are you here? You know, I feel like she asked that same exact question in Superman. I love the portal. Yeah, I think she does. Yeah, the, the way por- he opens a portal for the plane to go, like, instead of hitting the city, it goes out into, like, like you know, the open fields. Yeah, it's dope. I like the, his answer to her of why you're here, to make the world a little less dangerous and a little more magical. Where and, like, she's from? waiting for him in a fancy dress, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. It's very, it's, like, romantic. You're right. This is totally playing off of, like, Superman meeting Lois for the first time. 100%. Mm-hmm. Why do you dress up like a witch? Is it cosplay? Are you a super friend? No, I never liked witches. They always <laughs> terrified me. You have a broom that flies. How does that work? Magic, of course. What about your wand? You can hold it if you like. And then they perform like these, like, just, again, like, I, I use the word endearing um, on another on another book we were talking about recently, but it is. This book has, like, that a, a certain charm to it. It definitely is a lot of fun, and it was, like, like the kind of lighthearted read I was in the mood for. Yeah, for sure, dude. I instantly wanted more like two, three pages in. I was like, man, I wish there was another one that I could expect coming out soon. Yeah, but she right? does. He does reveal his face. We don't we haven't seen what he looks like, but she does. And then she, you know, he's he needs to go take care of what's happening. And so she puts his mask back on. She puts his hat back on. He uses the Zeppelin. smoke trail from the broom to put out the fire. That's pretty cool. I love the Zeppelins too. I'm a big fan of like that. That's what I said earlier, like like the whole Batman the MA series, like you know, the oh, yeah, that retro right. use of Zeppelins, like the Rocketeer had the same kind of thing going on. Mm-hmm. Dude, just so much fun. Yeah. You can just feel the joy that he must have had while he's drawing this book, dude. It's very infectious. The joy that he that he had creating this book completely comes off the page. And I think that's important, especially with a book like this. Because I think that's the point, is like he wanted to make a comic book that you just enjoyed reading because he enjoyed creating the concept and character so much. And it comes off the page, man. Like it's, it's, you know, a mission accomplished, Tom. Yeah. I love the fact that these, these gangsters are using Tommy guns too. another weapon. You don't really see used, you know, creating kind of setting it in a, a specific period without really dating it. There's a Dick Tracy vibe to this too. Now that I think about it, definitely. Abracad, he's about to say abracadabra and say abrac- abrac- nothing. <laughs> he hits him with the, the banker Joe hits him with a fucking rolling pin. And I like that, like you've met your match, the magically immune, the average Joes. <laughs> like what a cool concept. Like that's why they're all called Joe. They're all just so average. Yeah. And that's why they're drawn so simply, too. I mean, what mm-hmm. a fucking great. How great, man. Dude, it's <laughs> it's so much fun. They just kick yeah. him out of the fuck. Or no. They're about to see what's under the mask. So what does he do? He just throws himself out. I love this. Up, like you see him, like look, at, we see him falling down. Then we look at him straight on, and then we get his vision as he's going down to the city. And he just like he didn't put a bunch of details in the buildings. I love that. This is such a great sequence of panels right here. Very, very like very action packed. A lot of movement. He grabs his broom, but it snaps. Mystery man seems to have vanished. All that's left is his broken broomstick in the street. And so the average Joes, dude, they come. They get Santique LaRose because she's the one that wrote a report on him. So they they uh basically trick her into getting in. And then we see it's Big Boss, and it's all his plan to kind of lure Witch Man to his uh to his uh to his hideout. And we get this fucking He's fighting murder. death itself. Yeah, dude. He lands at the dump. I love that panel with the mud on his face, like almost like a camouflage sort of color scheme. And now he he's talking to his dad, who is like shrouded in like it's not the same Grim Reaper we saw over here, but he's shrouded. And he's talking to him. He's like, "I was never a good man, but in death I deserve better than this." He's like telling him to release him, which I don't understand. That release me, release me, you who would call yourself son. I guess to avenge him, the man who took everything away from me. He still walks the earth. He said, and I love it. He's I said he walks the earth. I didn't say he was alive. I love this this full page image. Of yeah, dude, it's awesome. I can't remember. I know this is an homage of a specific panel busting in through the glass. I think I just, so too. I can't remember what it is, but I know for sure that that is it was either a cover or a specific panel. But he does. He like I'm sure there's other stuff that like I'm not picking up on 
or you're yeah. in you too, like where he is homaging stuff. Cause it, that's what it feels like. It feels like a love letter also to a bygone era of comic books. All the red here is fantastic. Yeah. I, I love, love that he I went for like scenes primary too. colors. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. I love that too. That's a good call. They're always really fun. It's like a fun um, architecture and like um, geography to play with staircases. They create like an MC Escher kind of like display. And then fighting on like steel girders. That's always fun too. I love this. Yeah. Too. That's very classic. Like, you know, like I, like I said earlier, stuff like the Rocketeer, uh, you know, um, Dick Tracy. Yeah, this is awesome. Dude, how about this when he's shooting with the Tommy gun and you just see like the, it get him get riddled with bullets and the blood pouring down from his head. But yeah, yet he's somehow going to survive it. There's a homage to Detective uh, Comics right there. Oh, yep. 100%. You got that right. Yeah. I love this. dude. Big Boss is like, come on, do it already. I don't need your pity. And then he like lets himself go. Nope, you're not getting off that easy. And he fucking grabs him. Turns everybody in. Which man exposes real estate conspiracy? <laughs> so funny. Then we learn his real name, Wallace. And then he's about to give it all up, dude. He burns up the, the hat. The world doesn't need him. I love the epilogue here. Yeah, uh, I've got an idea. It's crazy, but I like it. Which girl? So we saw this girl very briefly for one page. And now she's going to take on the identity of which girl. And then this, I love this too. The the witch mail. Send your letters or yes. comments. Gives his P.O. box also. So it's, you know, he talks about it. He's like, I'm. this is the comic book you deserve. Think of Action Comics 1, Detective 27, Amazing Fantasy 15, Hulk 1, Spawn 1. This is the newest in a long line of legendary super characters, first appearances. Welcome to Witch Man's World. We're all just living in it. Tom's just such a fun, like, creator, dude. Like, he really, like, yeah. has fun with his projects, and it comes across every time. Like, then we get all these characters that we haven't even met. Creepy Crawler, Spooky Cat, The Bat, The Cauldron, which is literally just a body of cauldrons. Or I like Mr. October. He looks like a Halloween version of many faces from Masters of the Universe. Yeah. Which man of the West? That's cool too. I want to see all these characters, man. Same, dude. And then look, we get we get the right at the end. He's making a new suit. She's like, I thought you were done with it. So did I. All those things I said, they're all true, but I've got to do this, even if it doesn't make a whit of sense. And then to be continued. Now, I love that. I love how it's <laughs> yeah. like you think it's about to end, and it's not, dude. And he fights one last battle, and this is the guy that's responsible for his dad. So he finally, Zach can finally rest. I like this scarecrow battle too. Like I feel like the story there. Super and this self portrait of, of Tom, I love him too. So good, dude. It's just such a great, great product, dude. I'm so stoked that this exists. I want more. I, I'm fine if you know, like if like he does this with like other creations where he just does these one shots, you know, just like these, you know, you enter the world, you don't need a like a long convoluted backstory. I just had so much fun reading this, dude. I can't wait to see what Tom does next. Oh, yeah. I, I would be down if he would just, like, maybe do, like, a, a witch man or one of these, you know, every every few months. I'll support it on Kickstarter. Oh, well, yeah, dude. No, I, I hope it was – I mean, I know it was successful because it got backed, but um, hopefully he does more stuff like this. Or even if it's just, like, you know, he gets them printed and doesn't do Kickstarters, but he just, you know – I believe he has Somehow, a yeah. fan base to where he could do stuff like this and kind of experiment, but – so much fun. I don't know if there's other copies available. I would hit up Tom on social media. Uh, see if, you know, if you didn't back it and you missed the Kickstarter because this is a comic book you want in your collection. Uh, such a huge fan of Shioli over here. So go get this book if you can. And make sure you like, follow, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid drops. And on that note, we're out. Catch you next time, guys.